Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anybody see him working it out? Anybody see him working it out? Hallelujah. I hear the songwriter saying, why are you trying to figure it out? He's already worked it out. Hallelujah. Can you see him working it out? From day to day to day, he's working. From day to day to day, he's working. Everything that's bad and everything that's good, everything that I like and everything that I hate, he's all putting it together and he's working that thing out. The devil made it for evil. That was some finger licking good chicken. Uh, tastes just like the kernel. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Boy, uh, got no manners. Oh, Jesus. You know, Christopher, what part of no don't you understand? The N out of O. Tony ain't going to no golden shirt. You need to stop being silly. Jesus is coming soon. Melvin. Listen. G no, Jesus is coming soon. Yeah. Coming. You need to get your yeah. together before it's too late. You just joined church and now you're trying to preach. Okay, look. Fine. Melvin. 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 Mm -hmm. If you don't want to come, you can watch it on TV. It's going to be on the cable channel 29, the Georgia Noise Network. Newton Channel. Channel 29. <laughs> Ain't even going to do it. You're going to sit there and talk about the picture. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, Mama. Mama. You should tell them, but all said now. Nah. Yeah. Oh, my mama, he hurt. Boy, I said on my son. Your mouth. <laughs> mama. Go. So, I'll see you tomorrow, tomorrow at the Christmas party. Okay, okay, baby. Right. It's, it's dark out there. Let us let us walk you to the car. Yeah, yeah. Go Come to on, the car. Marvin. Melvin. <laughs> Put that beard out and get your big behind I'm out here. Help this girl to the car. I'm coming. N Move. Get, hold on. Let me get my. I mean, that's the biggest bottle of wine I've never seen in my life. Get yourself in here. I, I, and you, you stop telling. Stop, stop it. Drop. I ain't going to church. I should go to Spies Church, but he in Texas. I think I see Jones out there too. I could go this way. <laughs> Let me see what they talking about if they do life. Talking about the door from Noah. <laughs> now, when we have another praise dance coming from Joshua's army. Is that Golden Church? Look like his granddaughter. He got his whole family down there. <laughs>
situation. Breaking news. Millions of Christians are missing. Reports are coming in from all over the world. Trains have derailed. Cars are piled up everywhere with no one in them. American Airlines has just confirmed that seven planes have crashed due to a missing pilots who suddenly disappeared. Also just then, the Secret Service has confirmed that President Obama who is a professed Christian is now missing. He was last seen in the Oval Office preparing a speech. And now we have a news update from our analyst in New York. Thank you, Ron. I'm here in the Situation Room in New York and we just received some video footage from the TV ministry of the First Lutheran Church in New York. Most of the TV crews are missing, but here is a video filmed at their Bible class coming back for his church. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 24 verse 42, watch therefore for you do not know the hour your Lord is coming. I want you to know church that Jesus Christ could come this month or he might come next week or he could even come... Let me find Marvin now. Marvin! Operator, can you give me the number of New Life Ministries? I'm going to talk to Pastor Golden now. I need the number of the New Life Ministries. I need to talk to Pastor Golden. I want to talk to Pastor Golden now. I want to talk to Pastor Golden. I want to talk to Pastor Golden. I want to talk to Pastor Golden. Hello? I need to talk to Pastor Golden. Wake up. <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> Melvin, you having a bad dream, boy. What are you talking about? You want to uh, talk to Pastor Golden. Uh, what you want to talk to him about? Yeah. I want to tell him I ain't never coming to his church. Oh, boy, don't you never say what you ain't gonna never do. I said when I was younger in my younger days, I wasn't gonna shave either. But now I got to shave my legs. I got to shave my ankles. I got to shave my toes. And I got to shave my back. <laughs> you know us Odell's, we some hairy folk. <laughs> Mama, you a mess, but I'm serious. I'm sick of you and old ignorant Marvin and Crystal trying to tell me and trying to change me, trying to make me go to Pastor Garland's church. Y'all making me have bad dreams. Boy, church ain't never hurt nobody. And it sure don't make you have bad dreams. It's all them late night movies you've been sitting up watching. I done told you that sitting up watching that Freddy Krueger and Jason and that red-headed demon-possessed Chucky. Hey, Lord, there's something wrong with you folks. Y'all worse than Freddy Krueger. Y'all worse than Freddy Krueger talking about. Y'all give me indigestion. You make me have headaches. Make me have gas and everything. Y'all, shoot. What? I don't want to read. What? Read your line, boy. <laughs> Why is this program so important anyway? Well, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. The reason why we've been worrying about it so is because we got a surprise for you. The <laughs> best surprise y'all can give me is to leave me alone. Besides, I hate surprises. Well, remember, you ain't heard it from me. You know I can't hold water. <laughs> but you know, I just got to tell it, boy. I got to tell since you Since what? Since you won't come to church, it just might make you want to come. Well, what, Mama, what is it then? Tell me what it is. Well, you know them two little nappy-headed sons of yours that's always getting in trouble? Yeah, my ignorant ex-wife Vanessa keep on throwing oh, it in my face. Boy. Like it's my fault or something. Well, it just might be your fault with you. No job having, no house having, always eating 12 sandwiches, sitting on my couch putting an indent, Right ahead, boy, I tell you, but you know what? 
MJ, your son, Melvin yeah. Jr., he got saved last month. And now he done joined the, the church dance group. That's why we want you to come see him perform. He got what the what? Yeah. B Pastor God is brainwashing my whole family. Oh, Lord. What? Boy, you ought to be happy. Lord Jesus. What? You ought to be happy. You ought to be happy <laughs> that that boy done got saved and get <laughs> Lord Jesus. <laughs> Lord, you ought to be happy that that boy done got saved and gave his life to God. What you need to be doing is praying for that little, little nappy head son of yours, always running around the streets, trying to act like he's slanging dope for that. He know what? Down low? What's his name? Ray Ray gonna be all right. And MJ just going through a phase right oh, now. Boy. I taught him better than that. And what's this talking about MJ getting saved? Yeah. There ain't no such thing as no God. What, what the what? The, boy, I'll knock fire from your head, your tail. <laughs> you a black. You know I done told you about blaspheming in my house. I done taught you better than that. I taught you to believe in God. Yeah, you taught me to believe in Santa Claus. You Whoa. think Santa Claus gonna come to South Central in red? The he Crips will kill Santa and pimp his face. <laughs> 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 hey, oh, my God. God. You ready to go to church? Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. <laughs> hey, big head, you gonna come with us? No, and what's this here, up here about MJ joining your church and stuff? Really? What'd you hear about that? Mm -hmm. I don't know where he could have heard that from. Mm -hmm. you know. Folks always talking, you know. But I'm glad y'all here because that boy been getting on my nerves all day. Now, why don't you leave mom alone and get a job or do something? Sitting over there looking like you looking. Yeah, you see looking God is working? like you're looking. God is working. Melvin, God healed me of cancer. Yeah. He saved my nephew, and when he get through, I'm going to get a chance to see him change your life. I too. wish he changed my address because y'all getting on my nerves. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you mama wish he could change your address too. Sure but would. like I said, I've seen him work in my life and I'm going to get a chance to see him work on you and Ray Ray. Yeah, right. Whatever. You ready to go? We're going to be late. Yeah, baby, help me up. My rheumatism right. is hurting me. All you right. know, I'm so glad we get to go to church. Yeah. We might just get a chance to sing a song together. Mm. Now, you know, you never know how the Holy Ghost going to move. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Mm. <laughs> Kickstart Honda. Right. Kickstart Honda. Shit, no more, mm. we'll, we'll see. Mama, money we'll hurt. Remember what said, Melvin. <laughs> you need to see your way out of here. You're acting like that prophet is God and seeing everything. But you know what? You've been ignorant since the last play, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave. You yeah. crazy. Remember what I said? I seen him work in my life, and I'm gonna get a chance to see him save our whole family. See ya. Bye. Looking back through the years at all he's let me see. Some things good and some bad. Some days happy and others sad. I've seen God's hand working through them all. Yes. Even now, as I walk day to day, still trouble tends to come my way. I have trials, great and small. The tempter comes to make me fall. Stop it!
young men. We thank God for Javon working with our new member, MJ. Praise God. Praise God. Wave your hand, Javon. Thank God. We thank God for MJ, our new member. Praise the Lord. Let's give him another praise for them. And the anointing. The anointing is in the house. Praise God. Now we want to ask our praise team to come.
Got what? Got his money. I think I forgot I owe you. Pet dude be tripping. What's up, you young bucks? What's going on up here partying? Like y'all got style, like y'all got swag. Y'all ain't got no swag. What do I mean you ain't got no swag? Let me tell you what I mean. They call me Big Meat. Lana Hooper, whipping work, you in the hallelujah. You little youngsters, y'all don't know a thing. All y'all want to do is bag up that thing. Kilo, man, that's cold. Why are you trying to put my crew down? Man, here he go. You ain't no pimp. You looking at a pimp. Your man. Really? Yeah. That's what's wrong with these little hoochies. Trying to take up for that man. Hey. Back in the day, a real pimp would have smacked her. <laughs> Get your girl, man. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, I did. Hey. Control your little hey. girl. Hey, leave my girl out of this, man. What you want? Oh, you don't know what I want? Hey, that's what I said, man. What you, what you want? You got my money? Your money. You ain't got my money. <laughs> you know I want my money. Your money? Yeah. Oh man, you better be glad. Church boy in the flesh. What's up, MJ? Ooh, Ooh, you little church Murphy. boy. Well, I thought I told you Ray's getting out the game. Hey man, just because you're my brother don't mean you can speak for me. When did you become your brother's keeper? You wasn't talking all that when you was slanging man, I don't for me. I don't slang no more, man. I got saved. That's something you need to do. You preaching to me now? You preaching the sermon, church boy? I don't need no sermon. Whatever. You, you know what? Matter of fact, I'm going to leave both of y'all with a little something, something. What's that? Y'all, I'm going to leave you with a little something, something. What's that, Brother Murphy? I got a church song for you. A church <laughs> song? <laughs> yeah, I got a, a church, church song, song for y'all. It go a little something like this. I was born by the river. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I was born in South Central. <laughs> South Central. <laughs> in them projects. <laughs> And on these streets, I've been running and hustling ever since. Yep. It's been a long, a long time coming. I but I know one thing, my change better come, partner. Ooh, we gonna see. Oh, little man again. Here he go. <laughs> you got swag. Man, come on with that. What you talking about? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah,
Anyways. that about Today, I can't wait for you to see your hair when I'm done with you. You gonna look like Halle Berry's stepsister, cause you not quite Halle Berry material yet. Oh, but girl. you gonna like it though, girl. Mm, Halle Berry. I can't wait to see the look on your face when I tell you the latest gossip, girl. Gossip? Girl, you know I don't gossip, but I will listen. Well, you didn't hear it from me, but I heard that Miss Sharon. Hey, girl. How many you got before me, girl? How many? How many do you see? <sighs> Look at here. No, she didn't call me no Ain't help. nobody Let talking to you. Let me get up out you. this chair. I'm talking to Miss Sharon. Help me, Miss Sharon, Sharon. You better check her. Because <laughs> <laughs> she always starting something. No, she didn't. Hey, hey, ladies. I done told y'all, this is not the WWE Diva Smackdown. I don't know why y'all always got to go there. I don't know why y'all just can't get along. She don't start no Get along. Won't be no. Like I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. <sighs> Diane, girl, go on and have a seat. I heard it from a reliable source that... Hi, Miss Sharon. Hey, Joanne. How you doing? I'm fine. Oh, girl, that's good. I was wondering if you could just let me give me a little clip, clip behind, you know. Uh -huh, yeah. and did that hair ever come in? Girl, don't tell nobody, but T.T. brought it back the other day. No kidding. It's in the back. Mm -hmm, I got oh, it. Oh, girl, okay, thanks. You got it, girl. But, you know, I mean, how many is there going to be before me? Hey, what's wrong with everybody around here? You can't see Miss Joanne. It's just the two of us in here, me and her. Excuse me. You excuse Joanne, girl, go on and have a seat. You know Leash didn't take her meds today. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. Anyway, like I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted again, I heard it through the grapevine that... Well, you need to stop all that gossip. Oh, no, you know, she didn't. You won't show up. She That's didn't get out of the pee. I kind of heard mm. that, too. Ain't it the truth? Why all these chicken heads can't seem to get along with me? Oh, yeah, I know why I look so good, Holly Berry, Holly Berry. Uh, Girl, you trying to give me my cap? You know I'm on probation. Oh, they let you out. I ain't scared of going back more, looking more like scary, Berry. Ooh, you better watch your ankle bracelet. Chandra, girl, just sit down, chill out. She normally calls you a chicken head behind your back. I don't know what she's got going on today. Girl, could mess with my customers. Thank you, Miss Sharon. Now I can continue saying that Vanessa Odell's son, Ray Ray. Vanessa, the one that used to be married to Melvin, that don't take care of his kids, Melvin. There you go, interrupting me again. Hey. Let me tell it. Let her tell it, Miss Sharon. Oh, Vanessa, girl, you, you look early. Yeah, I'm a little early. I hope I wouldn't interrupt anything. You wouldn't interrupt anything, not a thing. Uh, I was see. I was just stopping by to see 
if I can get some like some highlights or anything. Let me see, girl. Let me see what you got going on. See, I just need like yeah, because I see add, that great. Yeah, yeah, we get that. Add some little, you know, extensions. We can bit. knock it out, but you got to give me a couple hours. Of, you know, yeah, got all this. Busy right now. Yeah. Okay, so how about if I come back about two o'clock? Sounds good, girl. All right. I'll see, I'll see you too, girl. Okay, now you know how it is at beauty shops, so. Not uh, mine, girl, not mine. When I leave at this door, I know y'all probably saying something about me. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I'll be back at two, okay? Bye, Bye Vanessa. <laughs> I'm so glad she gone so I can talk about her now. You know what? You all need to stop talking about people. You know you're not supposed to gossip. Miss Joanne, you sitting over there the whole time, act like you reading that book and you listening the whole time. I'm going to pray you for you, You know girl. you like to hear the gossip. I'm going to pray for you. Hallelujah. Uh-uh, gossiping. We ain't gossiping. We're discussing. And you stop, too. Leisha, go ahead and discuss the rest of Vanessa's business. Girl, word is that Vanessa cussed out Melvin last night and made him come Shut get them done. boys. She said she done did her part with them boys. And it's time for him to step up and be a daddy. Girl, you keep moving my mind. And uh, it's time for him to step up and be <laughs> father to them kids. <laughs> that's a noise. That's a noise. Ain't well, I heard that she put them out because Ray Ray keeps selling dope for Kilo Murphy. And MJ keeps preaching to her about coming to church. And she's tired of both of them. Y'all know, know what Kilo I'm Murphy tired of? Stop. I'm tired of you and you always getting up in people's business. You need to talk about your own business. I'll see y'all putting that Let me share. You can't uh -uh, sit. I ain't going to say nothing because you sure it. will make my hair fall out. I'm going to hey, just sit here hey. and let you talk about me until I leave. Don't forget. I'll <laughs> snip it up, girl. Hey, are you guys going to the um, Christmas program at New Life tomorrow? Yes, two of my grandchildren, they're going to be in that place. Really? Yes, yes. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Speaking of Christmas, there's a big sale going on at Walmart and everything's half off and it ends in one hour. Girl, I got to go. What? Hey, hey, I'm Walmart. Going to my hair can wait. Seriously, Walmart? Yeah. Uh, Miss Sharon, and you know I'll you come back down. tomorrow. I got to go catch the sale, girl. Walmart. Miss Sharon, girl, last year I missed the sale and this chair fooling around with you. I'm going to go because I got grandkids. I got to buy gifts for. Y'all going to Walmart? Y'all wait on me. Come on, girl. Walmart, you, for real. Come on, let's go to Walmart. to Walmart. I ain't going to Walmart. Uh-uh. Okay, wait. Here I go. I'm coming. Wait, wait. Good evening, everyone. Giving honor to God and to my pastors and to the other ministers in the house. We, the New Life Ministry would just like to welcome you to our 2010 Christmas program. And we just want you to just sit back and relax and enjoy because how many know that Jesus is the reason for the season? Amen. Sounds like somebody is ready to have church tonight. Well, first of all, we're going to ask that our New Life Youth Department would come forward, and they're going to present a song entitled to you, Emmanuel. So youth, would you come on up, please?
our youth a big hand for that wonderful selection, Emmanuel. Okay, our first presentation tonight will come from Nikita, and it's called Christ the Holy Child. A long, long time ago, a long, long time ago, in a stable far away, Christ the Holy Child was born, fulfilling the promise made. Amen. Now we have a presentation by Noah called God's Special Gift. God's Special Gift. Jesus Christ, God's dear Son, born on Christmas Day, holy and magnificent, God's special gift he gave. Now we have a presentation by Dion. What a wonderful gift. What a wonderful gift that God is ready to give it, the gift of his son, the gift of the Son, Jesus. Amen. Denise's presentation will be the Savior of the world. He came a tiny baby. He grew up to be a man, Savior of the world, and he lived in his hands. Yeah. All, right. All right. Thank you, Denise. Now we have a presentation for Cameron. Joy. What great joy Jesus brings. Cameron. That love came down to bless every little boy and girl. Alexis, Christmas is the reason for the season. Christmas is the reason of the season. It is the festive season to celebrate Christ's birth. To rejoice in knowing he came, bringing peace throughout the earth. Amen. Amen, Alexis. Now, Elijah wants to tell us it's time to celebrate. Elijah. Let's celebrate. Celebrate, celebrate. Celebrate this season with joy and expectation, for Jesus is so worthy of our praise and adoration. Now we have a presentation from Olivia. Jesus is our king. Jesus is our holy one who lived with us on earth, sent down from God our Father. So miraculous was his birth. Although born the king of kings, he lived a servant's life. He showed us all how to live, love, and give. Amen. Amen, Olivia. Jesus shows us all how to live, love, and give. Now we have a presentation, What is Christmas? by Maya. What is Christmas? Christmas is more than Christmas trees, Hagen, Blessing God of our Lord, Son of God, born the King of Kings. All right. 
Now, Alexis Golden will come and share with us and tell us about the cost of his life. The cost of his life. Now it is time. Now it is time for rejoicing and praise forevermore to God who gave a precious gift in birth of our Lord. Now we praise him for the goodness and thank him for his life. For him to give up everything cost such a great price. So remember to sacrifice so remember the sacrifice made in Jesus' lowly birth. Amen. Now, Alexis, I put Alexis on the spot. She only had one day notification, so she did an excellent job, Alexis. Trey Golden will come and tell us the Savior of the world. Jesus, Son of God, born on Christmas Day, in a manger he did lay. The sheep and cattle, lowing standing by his bed, the angels singing triumph, what long ago was said, that he had come to Bethlehem, the birth a miracle, the holy child, in mother's arms, God's gift unto the world. Now when we have a special poem recited by Shay, towards the night that Jesus came. Twice the night before Jesus came, all through the house, not a creature was praying, not one in the house. Their Bibles were laying on the shelf without care, in hopes that Jesus would not come there. The children were dressed in a crawling to bed, not once ever kneeling or bowing ahead. And Mom in her rocker with baby on her lap was watching a late night show while I took a nap. When out of the east there arose such a clatter, I sprang to my feet to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, to open the shadows and threw up the sash. When what to my wondering eyes should appear, but an angels proclaiming that Jesus was here. With the light like the sun sending forth the bright ray, I knew in a moment this must be the day. The light of his face made me cover my head. It was Jesus returning just like he said. And though I possess worldly wisdom and wealth, I cried when I saw him in spite of myself. In the book of life which he held in his hand was written the name of every safe man. He spoke not a word as he searched for my name, when he said, it's not here, my head hung in shame. The people whose names had been written with love, he gathered to take his father above. With those who were ready, he rose without a sound, while the rest were left standing around. I fell to my knees, but it was too late. I had waited too long, and thus sealed my fate. I stood and I cried as they arose out of sight. Oh, if only I had been ready tonight. In the words of this poem, the meaning is clear. The coming of Jesus is drawing near. There's only one life, and when it comes, the last call, we'll find that the Bible was true after all. Man, this closes our Christmas program for 2002 at New Life. And on behalf of our pastor and New Life members, we just want to wish each and every one of you a merry, merry Christmas and a happy new year. And let's give our youth a round of applause. They did a wonderful job tonight. Thank you. You missed a good Christmas program. Do you ever knock? Do you ever leave the couch? Look. Y you need to be stop being so hard-headed and stop being so mean and come to church and support your son, Melvin. Mama already getting on my nerves and everybody getting on my nerves about taking care of it. I done already took the kids in. I done done enough. You they dad. That's what you should be doing. What do you want me to do? You need to get your life right. Get saved. Change. And be an example for them. You know what? Life has a funny way of bringing us to our knees. And I don't want nothing bad to happen to you to make you come to your knees. I'm not getting on my knees for nobody. Melvin. Not you, not mama, not Obama. But I tell you what I will do. Melvin. I know how to go get my drink on.
Kilo crazy. Man, ain't nobody worried about that OG wannabe. Man, but anyways, you need to get out the game, man. Change your life around. This stuff ain't worth it. Hey, man, I ain't trying to knock what you're talking about, but it ain't for me. Boy, Jesus for everybody, man. I don't know where you get that stuff from. Crazy. <laughs> I didn't hear it all. I ain't ready. Man, whatever, man. I'm telling you. Hey, Ray. What's up, bro? Word on the street is if you don't give Kilo his money, he gonna kill you. I ain't better tip. All right. Hey, All man, right. thanks for the info, man. Right. Like I said, Kilo crazy. And you see, early he had a gun. Anybody can get a gun? What that mean? Man. man like, like I said, I ain't worried about no Kilo Murphy. Man, whatever, man. Oh, you ain't worried about me, huh? That's what I said, little youngster. What you doing? Yeah, it's on. Where my money at? Hey, like I hey. said, I get your money. Do hey. you have my money? Hey, hey, hey like I said, man, I talk. 
hold you. Somebody about to go down tonight. It's a gun. Go down. Man, I'm tired of this. Jay. Hey, wake up, Jay. Hey, Jay, get up. <laughs> hey, get up, Jay. Hey, man. Hey, I'm ready to go to church. Come on. I'm ready to go to church with you. Hey, you was right, man. Hey, she was right. Hey, get up, bro. She was right. <laughs> Come on, man, get up. <laughs> get up. God. God, please. This is my father. Please don't let my brother die. How do I say goodbye to what we have? The good time that made us laugh. I'm with the bad. again just another broken promise we're here another home going the scripture says and Philippians 4, 
Who ended his destruction? Whose God is their belly and whose glory is in their shame? Who set the minds of the earthly things for our citizenship in heaven? From which we also earthly wait for the Savior, Jesus Christ, who would change us, who will change us, who will change us and our lowly body that it may be changed to his glorious body according to the work by which he is able to subdue all things. We're here today we're here at this moment where we see another useless endless situation the shame, hard to see what has happened here today. We understand that in this time, another young man has lost his life for senseless, senseless violence. But you know, I, I, I was praying and God said, you know, it is time for change. Somebody say change. Change is needed because change needs to start on the inside. And we're here today to say, Lord, change every heart that don't know you. We thank you for the change. We receive the change in Jesus' name. Thank God. Now we'll have a song.
Magnificent change when a son or father comes for change. At this point in our lives, we are we come to the doorstep of where we want to change. And while they're standing here, it may be some of us that feel like that we're ready for this change. So at this point, we're going to end this with just saying, stand on your feet. Lift up your hand. And if you need a special prayer, we're just going to say, why don't you just step forward and stand. Say, Lord, I'm ready for this change.